IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello and welcome back, Braves. I'm Reese Tuttle. And I'm Meg Gotham. And we are in the fourth quarter. So, Reese, what did you do over spring break? I went to Otherworld in Columbus. How about you? I went to Atlanta, Georgia. Well, it was a nice to have a little break before finishing up the year strong. Well, there's a lot of news to cover, so let's get on with it. April is Autism Acceptance Month, which brings to light the need to promote inclusion and acceptance of people with autism. For the month, the Autism Society of America is continuing with its fourth annual Celebrate Differences campaign, which aims to champion those affected by autism to live full quality lives through connection and acceptance. The Cincinnati Academy of Performing Arts is offering a film production camp this summer. The camp takes place on July 25th through 29th and August 1st through 5th in Cincinnati. The camp has limited students, so you'll want to register as soon as possible to be sure to get in. If interested, click on the link in the description. It's time to celebrate our March Super Race. Congratulations go to Isabel Cooper, Alex Tasner, Claire Harding, Joseph Kane, Will Weinman, Samantha Rosakis, Stephen Tranter, Greta Zender, and Violet Hayes. Drum roll, please. And the winner is Joseph Kane. Congratulations. Conquer the Hill is on Saturday, April 23rd. The 5K race starts at 8.30 a.m. with games for the kids at the finish line at Tomahawk Stadium. The full results of the Hosa State competition are now in. Our competitors did a great job. If you see any of the following students around the campus, please congratulate them. Daniel Joy placed ninth in Path of Physiology. Joy placed seventh for Medical Spelling. Ernesto Rodriguez Cairo placed fifth for Pharmacy Science. Ernesto was also asked to speak at the opening session for the entire competition on Thursday. Congratulations to all of these students. It's time for our weekly sports report with Stephen Tranner. Steve? Hi, and welcome back to the Sports Weather Report with me, Stephen Trainer. We're going to start off with the weather, but first, before spring break ended, Indian Hill Baseball beat Napoleon 13-2. Great job, baseball team. We're going to start off with the weather here. We got some rain during the week, and we got some sunny with partially clouds. We know Sunday and Monday, they were pretty darn nice. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to have some sun. It's going to be moderately cold, high 56, high 57. Thursday, we're going to have some sun, break in the clouds. It's going to be somewhat warm. Friday, it's going to cool down, be uh, rainy. So that's going to be a nasty, miserable day. And then Saturday, it's going to be pretty warm, high 51, low 40. Start off with sports. Baseball played Wyoming, 6-0 win, shutout victory. Great CHL start. Softball, sadly, they lost 0-14. to But I got a chance to interview Nick Rinala, the pitcher that threw a shutout against Wyoming. Roll the clip. All right, I'm here with Nick Rinala. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself, Nick? Um, I'm Nick. I'm a sophomore, and I play baseball. So I heard you had a blowout win against Wyoming. Could you tell me a little about that? Yeah, the game started off pretty slow. It was 2-0 for until the sixth inning. Then the wind started blowing, and Nate Hilbrin hit a home run out, and that really gave us the momentum, and we scored four that inning, and then I went on to throw a one-hit shutout. Nice, nice. Have you thrown uh, any other shutouts before? Um, I threw a shutout last year against Batavia in the playoffs. And then any other big events that happened during your uh, game against Wyoming? Um, it was opening day, so there were a lot of people there. We had a first pitch, and it was really fun. All right, well, thank you, Nick. Um, back to you at the Weather Report. Thanks, other Steven. Let's get right back in that sports. Tuesday, tennis was supposed to play, but it got canceled because of rain. What a shame. Wednesday, softball is playing at home, but it got canceled. Baseball is playing at home, but it got canceled. Both were moved to Thursday. Tennis got canceled because of rain, I believe. And then uh, lacrosse played Milford, but I do not have the score of that game. On Thursday, uh, softball and baseball will be playing Wyoming, both at home, I believe. And tennis will be playing Beaver Creek. Friday, softball, another CHL game against Taylor. Baseball, another CHL game against Taylor. And lacrosse will be playing Oak Hills at home. Then Saturday, jam-packed full of sports. Tennis will be playing at home. Softball will be playing away. Baseball will be playing away. And girls lacrosse will be playing at home. So go support your sports teams. Let's go Braves. Let's go win all the spring sports. Back to you at the news desk. Thanks for that amazing sports and weather report by Stephen. Attention all students, don't forget to complete your community service hours. Here's a reminder for your hours. Juniors and seniors need 20 hours. This year, freshmen and sophomores need 10 hours. The seniors deadline is May 1st. Everyone else is the 13th. 
Well, that's all the news we have for this week. Well, Meg, will I be seeing more of you this quarter? Well, it depends on how much you pay me. <laughs> well, I guess this is your last time anchoring, then. Well, be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. I'm in the zoo with the lions and apes and bears. You probably won't make it there. One of the hops they say they won't smoke with me. You don't want to take it there. Yo, um, do you know where the nearest bathroom is? Right there. Wait, I, I got a question for you, though. Yeah. So, like, uh, this, this is, like, kind of kind of awkward, like, low-key. Um, yeah, so, like, my goldfish just died, and I, like, I low-key don't know how, like, for me, man. Do you have any tips to get better? Oh, do you sell the goldfish? <laughs> oh, man. I ate it, bro. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be interviewing uh, asking about our AP research project. Let's say your fish just died, but you're, like, starving. <laughs> you see I'm going with this? Yeah, I... Would you? Depends on the type of fish. Depends on the type of fish. If it was a large fish, like a catfish, I would eat it probably. Okay. But I don't like fish. You don't like fish? I don't not like not the a. Taste. You don't like the taste of fish? No. The tears of the goldfish in your in your bowl? No, probably not. Not not no. Right. Or something. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Did I tell you to come down this this time? No, I was just wondering if you were available. Uh, no. Daniel Choi. He's my boy. He's like, he's like my step brother, my step son. Really? He's my son. I actually own him. He's my child. Oh. <laughs> my father, yes. Stop. Hey, what's up? Uh, really quick, um, I, I'm doing like this profile or a video for AP Research. Yeah. And so I was just wondering if you could re record me. Yeah. Um, but I want, but I want people to see myself because I'm like pointing like certain directions. Okay. So. Um, Why are you not doing this? All right. Okay. And he's 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 a sophomore. I'm a junior, so like he needs to learn like certain stuff. So I'm like he's okay. just with me right now. Okay. It's a recording, so just hold it up like this really quick. All right, so just just like that. Here we have a pest battalion, and here right here we have a locomore. Um, so these two differentiate um, based on their certain attributes and certain phenotypes and traits. So that right there. Um, talks about their different motor skills and speaking and language abilities. And here, right here, shows their different types of bowel movement and digestive systems. Sweet. Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. Perfect. That's all you need? Yeah. All right. Sweet.